This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Next 1000. Uh, do you think it's right to take taxpayer money from Mississippi taxpayers and Texas taxpayers to fund something like that? Sure. Yep. How about my tax dollars? I don't live in I don't know Manchester. Who you are. Who are you? It's Dave Ridley over at Ridley Report. Where do you live? Uh, Manchester, New Hampshire, Alderman. Going defensive on me in advance of a meeting. But many politicians have a better sense of PR than this. They can comprehend the idea of civilized interaction with a freedom activist. I think in part that's because many politicians honestly and sincerely believe they're doing the right thing. When they vote to impose some new rule on the people. Usually these days, a rule that says you can't do something harmless. That's how it seems, at least. But the problem isn't necessarily in the hearts of politicians, it's in their heads. It's the way they think about the body politic. Speaking of body, I think body is the perfect analogy for what we're looking at here. <laughs> we might as well look at a pretty body while we're talking about bodies. Politicians tend to think in collective terms. They think of a group as being an individual. They think of New Hampshire as being a body. Not quite as pretty as this body, but you get what I'm talking about. If you're paying attention to what I'm saying. Maybe you're not. Put so your camera long. away. I don't even want to talk um, about it. In their minds, these politicians are part of the body's brain. And they want to make decisions that are best for the body as a whole. At least, the honest ones do. To them, individuals are like cells or limbs or organs. They don't wish their cells or lemon or they don't wish their cells or organs ill necessarily. They just want them to work together for the common good. They may order you into military service, at least they have in the past, the same way they would order a hand out of its glove and into the cold to do some sort of dexterity thing. It isn't much fun for the hand but is good for the rest of the body. You're gonna have to either go downstairs and do this, you're disrupting the traffic here. I mean and as you can imagine, they get frustrated when maybe the hand doesn't want to do what it's told. Wouldn't you? As a would-be brain, they do think about all the needs of all the different organs that they can, but to them it's just assumed that the most important organ is the brain and they assume that other organs would have to be sacrificed, or maybe at least other limbs, might have to be sacrificed uh, if it was a choice between them and the brain. Because in their mind, the body politic would fall apart without the brain. Now, they may not be totally wrong about this, but there is a huge problem with this way of looking at things. People are not cells. They're not limbs. They're not unthinking automatons. They are bodies themselves. Now, this might sound like just a statement of common sense, but is it really that common? Think how normal it was back in the 90s to hear the term aggression against Bosnia. Well, of course, there was aggression against Bosnians by Serb and Croat paramilitaries and some aggression in the other direction, too. But when was the last time you heard the mainstream media talk about aggression against an individual? Which, in a sense, is really the most basic kind of aggression. If you look at a definition of aggression in a prominent dictionary, the term is even uh, listed as specifically referring to aggression against a country almost as though aggression against individuals were secondary. I think Henry Kissinger was right when he said that you can't think, necessarily, of countries as people, as bodies. He may have been wrong about a lot of other things, I'm sure he was, but he was probably right about this. Politicians are engaged in groupthink because society is engaged in groupthink. We were attacked, they will say, for instance when some 
group of hungry Islamists tries to attack a military building overseas. Or then there's my favorite, we need to put a priority on such and such. When really what they mean is the legislature needs to force you to pay for such and such. If politicians would stop thinking of the people as though they were some sort of collective, that would fix a lot of these problems. But to get them there, it would probably be wise to empathize, to understand the line of thinking that politicians are engaged in. They can't see what they're doing as being aggressive because to them, you are a cell in the body politic. And more than that, you're a cell that has a vote. The cells, they will say, got to choose the brain. Think coming up with an effective countermeasure, counterargument to this line of thinking will take us a long way to ending aggression against individuals imposed by their own government. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Next 1000. Hundreds of liberty activists have joined the Free State Project and moved to New Hampshire for more liberty. But what if we could get 2,000 here by the autumn of 2011? That's the goal of the Next 1000 pledge. Drop by pledgebank.com slash next 1000 and sign up today. Next 1000.